Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So last time we got some more upgrades, especially in the end we got the full set from Nomad Leader. So that's a huge upgrade and in between episodes I even managed to fix it. It didn't take that long, I only needed, what was it, like 5 hours to fix everything? Uh, yeah really short time to to fix the damage so now we are using the full set 247 point chest and 215 point helmet uh, because of that i had to shuffle the gear around and the front line at this point looks quite good sure we still could use some upgrades that we can even get from uh, probably regenerators but overall i'm pretty happy with uh, how the front line looks like at this point our archers that's a different story we definitely could use some upgrades especially like helmets but we will get there worst case scenario we can we can even buy that because what i want from them is not that expensive but of course i would rather save the gold for new recruits also at the end of the previous episode we spotted some tracks here in the mountains and i managed to find the group so that's where we're gonna start today uh it's nothing like super special there are a few raiders but there is also a squire which is probably the most important important like um person in this group uh, squires can have some decent gear uh, but they're also pretty tough so we'll see how we can handle this fight uh Okay, let's attack. Engage. Shouldn't be like super difficult, but we still have to be careful. Let's see, what do they have? All of the poachers have short bows, so I'm guessing we will um, take some more headshots as usual. Where is the squire? That's the most important question. Also, the raiders have some pretty good weapons, like overall their gear is pretty decent and i can already see some upgrades okay well wait wait uh you can definitely take a break so this is a priority target because he doesn't have a helmet and then probably these three as well. Um, we should be able to reach this guy. Oh, come on. Just start it and there are already lags. So I guess after this fight I will have to restart. I don't know what's going on lately that the game is lagging so much. I mean, those lags are not... Uh, really bad yet but i think with every fight it would get worse so i probably should just restart the game after this fight uh now i think i'll already let's see oh that's 65 on the thug or i could even go after the raider 63 we could do that that's probably the best option here please kill the dog nope Uh, let's do spear wall here. Okay, so what's the chance to hit? 58. This would be 43. I think with 64% chance to hit, I might try my luck here. Well, managed to hit. Not a headshot, but I'll take it. And this is... Let's go with aim shot 63. Miss. But I think next turn we will switch and go after the uh, the poachers if we have some shots against them. Wait. Yeah. Oh, come on, really? 66 miss. Wait. Wait. Oh. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, suddenly those hits don't hurt nearly as much. This is a little annoying. Good. Nice. 
nice. Oh, that's great that uh, Ryan buried our, th our throwaway managed to actually do something. Nice. Uh, let's keep some of them stunned. Okay, so the dog is dead. But if I move forward, I won't be able to attack anymore. So we'll just wait. Maybe this guy will get in range. No, wait. He is a weapon. Oh, that's the squire. Okay, so this is definitely a problem. Yeah, at least on this side, we will have to move forward and get... Oh, Maybe we don't have to move forward. He just, for some reason, moved into melee range. Okay, fine. So let's engage here. Now, this is going to be a knockback. So we can, again, throw javelins. And then 61, 92. I would much rather kill this guy. I'm gonna need some help here, probably. Something like that is ideal. Um, probably... I don't want to get exposed to those uh, poachers. So maybe, you know what, let's just stay back. You can move for sure. Okay, can we kill him with one javelin? Yes. And I have to kill this guy. I don't want him to get to me again. And here we'll try the square. 63 is pretty decent chance to hit. Good. Ah, oh, come on. I was hoping you'd panic. 49. I really want him dead. There we go. Okay, good. Ooh, that's a nasty bleed. I think at this point I will move forward, but I won't be able to attack, unfortunately. Well, I will have to do them. And one, two, three, four. Let's start putting some pressure on those ranged guys. Uh, finish of the butcher. I definitely don't want another bleed stack. And please hit the, he the head here. Nope. 52, sure, let's try. There we go, nice. Move forward. Can we... 58 to stun the squire. Good. Well, as long as we are hitting something, it's fine. Oh, that should have been a kill. I hope... Uh, I want to say I hope this won't be a hit, but if, again, for some reason he decided to move farther away than I expected, and because of that he can't attack. I think I'll just once again knock him back and kill him with javelins. Um, actually... Keep working on those. You are still stuck. No, you are dazed. Oh, I can't do the knockback. That's unfortunate. That was a really nice bite. 
How is he still alive? Okay, good. Then, if we move, we won't be able to attack. I kind of expected that. So let's just try our luck, try to hit something. And uh, actually, no, let's go for a stun. I was thinking maybe if I just attack, I might be able to, to, to kill him, but we are running out of stamina. Why is it only for... Oh, that's a monk, that's why it's so uh, low. Wait... That has to be a joke. And that was with, like, a knife or a shank even. Holy crap. How many hit points was that? Actually, not that many. Um, we are pretty low. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. This is definitely not the build made to tank uh, people with knives. It's 21%. All, all that's gonna happen is that I'm gonna hit my dog. I'll pass. 81, that's a little bit better. Good. Okay, try to kill him before he kills you. Good. Okay, I suddenly panicked and died. Well, that's another monk. Ah. They should add like a capture option. Because I definitely try to capture a monk just to increase our chance that we will actually get the get the surgeon. It's again day what 53, 54, something like that at this point. And uh, once again, we didn't find a single character that would be even like remotely close to something like a surgeon. Uh, what is this injury? Grazed kidney, minus 60% hit points. Oh, oh, that's bad. How long does it take to heal? Three to six. We will definitely have to do something about that. Okay, what did we get from um, from the fight? A little bit of food, a little bit of gold. Uh, here that uh, basic mail shirt is probably an upgrade, but that's it. I didn't get anything else. Hmm. So how many hit points do we have now? 20 or actually 8? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's move back a bit. Oh, we have some level ups. Uh, we didn't get four level ups from this fight. I think we had four from the pre I mean two from the previous episode. Um, what are we doing here? Probably rotation for the support guy. Make sure that he can switch places with more useful people if needed. And we'll definitely invest into resolve. That was actually a decent level up. Now you will take Bullseye. I still don't understand why Bullseye is considered in general as being like a, such a bad perk. Um, 
I can't imagine uh, building my archers without it. Also, uh, on a slinger, this is quite useful. Everything that has like very long range, bullseye is really useful because you don't really care uh, about hitting the front line. You need to take out priority targets that are standing behind the front line. I mean, bullseye sure is garbage on like throwers and like even a crossbowman. Uh, but the the longer range you have, the better it becomes. Uh, this is bad. We definitely need some resolve. And I'm thinking, because of how badly this is rolled, if I should take initiative or if I should go for the hit points. I might actually go for the hit points, because these are definitely not builds, uh, these two archers. They are built around initiative, so I guess the extra survivability uh, is a higher priority here. And the last one, actually two more, not last one. I guess Killing Frenzy. We are getting so many kills with those javelins that it should probably be up all the time. Yeah, more stamina because I want to switch to much heavier armor. Oh wait, uh, actually no, I, Killing Frenzy now I think was correct, but I have to make sure that I take bags and belts. That's a perk that I usually like, don't even consider, or very rarely, so here I have to just make sure I take it. So it's gonna be level, uh, level 10 and then... Um, we get 11, 12, probably the heavy armor perks, and that with that we are done. So unfortunately we won't get close combat archer. That's... Oh, we will also miss Berserk. Uh, do we just... I mean, how often is uh, Domenge gonna get hit? Not that often. Oh, I also want food work. Holy crap. Maybe I... No, I don't want to pass on food work. Um, hmm, can I please get more perk points? Like five more than, than I will get? There is so much I would like to take here. This is another build where I would easily like uh, be able to invest 20 points. Just out of curiosity. That's useful... Uh, recover? Probably not. I wouldn't mind taking Fortified Mind. These two. Uh, one of these probably, but I also wouldn't mind taking these two. Or at least, at least this one. Then these two. Close Combat Archer. Yeah, and I've already picked so many perks that I probably wouldn't be able to take all of them if we like started with this on level one. Uh, and in the end we could even take like muscularity if I wanted to build around that that would work as well. In the end I decided to not go for it but I mean if we had spare points we could uh, take that as well. Uh, yeah, and then you have some builds that, like, on level 7, you already have everything. Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask, because of something that I noticed last time. Um, we managed to get... A few characters to level 16 plus in the previous series but they didn't get extra uh, extra perk points 
Did they just remove that scaling? You don't get any more perk points above level 11, no matter what? Or was it a bug or what happened? Is anybody playing uh, Legends at this point and could like confirm if it's still in the mod or if they changed something? I didn't notice anything in... Uh, in um, patch notes but as i said last time we didn't get those points so i'm curious that would be a huge nerve oh, well enough talking uh what do we want to take here uh and yeah this is the same thing like how am i supposed to take the uh, the cooking perks That's already too heavy. So let's. Did we take a student? We did. So we have eight, nine, ten. They have five more points. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have five more points. One, two. And then the cooking perks. And we. Uh, get a lighter armor when we have both these two i think so next level yeah that makes sense so let's pick dodge now that will boost the defense a little bit one two three You will have lighter armor, so the fatigue should be okay-ish. I might invest once if we get max roll, just to get a little bit of extra fatigue. Or do we have... we do have uh, skillful stacking. Right, so even more like perk point pressure, because we definitely could use it here. God damn it. Well, that was a lot of talking, so let's play for a while again. Uh, yeah, we'll need ammo, we'll need tools and supplies. I guess we'll have to spend some of our money on that. I will have to check the map. I should probably do that off camera. It may take a while. To find, but if we have a city with a lot of mining, where we could get what is this? I'm oh, just Zalt's false company. <clears throat> but a city where we could get um, reliably cheap tools and supplies. Okay, uh, how the price is really bad. Food-wise, we are fine, but 165 for ammo is not the end of the world. So I think I'm going to buy two stacks, and I don't have a choice. I have to buy one stack of tools and supplies, even for 330. Um, actually, the price for bread isn't that bad. Why are the... Hmm. Even the price for medical supplies is not horrible. We don't need it, but uh, well, I guess they have decent prices for buying, just bad prices for selling. <clears throat> now, anything interesting here? I'm specifically looking for minstrels or monks. What the hell is this? Guildmaster? Well, that's the first one for me. I have never seen this background. Oh, and by the way, off camera, I, I got the first pop-up about um, about the crisis, that something is starting to to happen. Uh, and I think our first crisis is going to be undead again. But what the hell is this? An aging master slayer of a local guild. Time has taken their youth, but their skills still surpass those they train. So I guess another... Uh, another background that starts with uh, uh, old or gets old uh, eventually. 
has an aptitude for spears, pole arms, throwing weapons, axes, and crossbows, likes wearing medium armor, prefers fighting shrads, lindworms, alps, okay, so all of the nasty stuff, or is it something like specific uh, that you get only when you play um, the, the Beast Slayers uh, origin? Is skilled in catching beasts, is brutally harsh, shrewd, deceitful, is blah blah blah, that doesn't really matter. What are you good at? Training, crafting. A little too expensive. But I'd really like to know if he has any interesting like background specific perks. How much is the trout? Uh, I can't afford it to throw away 251. But as I said, I've never seen this background, so I'm quite surprised that after, what is it like? I probably have like 1000 hours in Legends at this point, uh, there is something I haven't seen yet. Or even heard of, because there are some things that I haven't seen, but I at least read about them. Uh, but this is something that I had no idea was in the game. Uh, three days to the north. Uh... Where is it? It's all the way up here. Yeah, pass. Okay, let's check this um, brigand camp. At this point, we might be able to attack it, or might be strong enough to attack it. How close do we have to get? Raiders, Raider, what the hell? This is so much weaker compared to what it was like 30 days ago. Oh, well, in that case. The only problem here might be that we'll be fighting in the hills, so I guess that is what's going to happen. Oh, this is horrible. Oof. Uh, this is where we are heading, but this looks like there are some like there are some cliffs there. No, no, it's just the fog of war was doing weird, weird stuff. And I forgot to reload. Damn it! This is interesting. So we can pull a bit farther back so that they can't hit us even from the high ground. It just is gonna take forever to pull, pull back that far. I guess the archers will have to go around. And not just the archers, because if I try to move more people this way, I'll get caught. This would be so much easier if we had Pathfinder, but the problem is uh, with so many perks that we need to take, there is just no way I would take a utility perk on most characters. I just don't have room for it, unfortunately. Okay, I'll just move as far back as possible, make room for people that are coming. Oh, 
wait. Okay, this looks a little bit better now because I don't think their archers will be able to hit us at this point, hopefully. And how do we regroup exactly? Um, you can move two more tiles. This is still weird. There just isn't enough room on the high ground. Wait. Okay, so you're gonna be here. If they want to come this way, sure, they'll be standing right under the hammer. You will stay as far as possible because that... How many hit points was that? 12 to 20 hit points? That is scary. Uh, you could probably move forward actually, can we? We can reach, but at this distance I don't think you'll be doing any damage, so that would be a waste. Now, do we have any good shots with the bow? 67, 61... I think I'll go after this guy, I don't like the dagger. Good. You can go here. Now, this should be an easy target. Oh, really? He survived two shots. I could move forward, but I think if I move forward, then I'd be in range of their archers already, or they could even move back, back a little bit, still be in range. So I'd rather just wait where we are. Yeah, force them to move forward. This guy is still probably in range from here. Wait. Okay, so they're archers. That's one. Damn, those legs are annoying. Wait. 
Maybe I should try to finish up this one. Okay. As I said, I don't like the deck game. Please don't miss. Also, don't need to get hit by the pickaxe. Okay, that's three out of three. Nice. But unfortunately, this one is not panicking. Uh... I guess I'll let this one go and focus on the other one. That works. Can I get to him somehow? No. Lovely. That was a headshot. Oh, they all recovered. Literally every single one. Wait. Oh, and the guy with the pickaxe will go before I can do anything to him. Ah, eh, wasn't too bad. Good. Then, this is the raider, so of course that's the priority target for our main damage dealers. Definitely still should go with aimed shots. Okay, please kill him. Uh, here, I just wanted to make sure he was dead because of the weapon. We uh, could get into trouble with one hit that they had, 50 points. That could get through, cause injuries. It was definitely safer to finish him off before uh, he would have an opportunity to attack. How many are alive? Seven. Actually, probably don't mind if the rest of them just run away. Come on, it's sixty percent. I know that I said that I should be using aimed shots, but I checked the chance to hit, and with sixty percent or fifty-nine, I. Th I think I am fine with just normal shots. We should hit every other attack, in theory. But we missed four in a row, of course. Okay, let's try again. 76. Still missed one. Oh, 
Come on, kill him. Good. 64. Miss. Okay, okay, okay. I will just use the aim shot. And now they are all running. So I guess we can end it here. No, not yet. What the hell? I'm pretty sure we'll be able to end it now. Yeah. Okay, so basically didn't take any damage, so I think that was the goal for this fight. Um, some gold, oh 26 tools and supplies is amazing. A little bit of ammo. Can I even pick up everything? I have to leave some shields behind? No. Let's take these three at least. Hmm. I think we will end up with Brony here, but I'm not sure if that's what we want to take now, so I think I'm, I'll think about this a little bit more in between episodes. Right now we need to get rid of all of the garbage that we have in the inventory, so let's head to the closest town. Fingers crossed that we get decent prices. We don't. But I'll still have to sell something. At least the prices for tools and supplies are not that bad. So I think we'll do some shopping here. Yeah, the prices are really quite bad. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make a cut here. Do all of the trading of camera because that may take a while. I will probably sell some of the cheaper stuff and keep the more expensive items uh, for later when we find a city with better prices. But I definitely need to clear the inventory a little bit. And next time, uh, actually, here we can check recruits just in case. Last thing before. We end this episode nothing at all. Where are all the monks and minstrels? Just out of curiosity. Nothing. Okay, so we are done with uh, this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.